81 cc metro 58 cc ruckus with 100 more pounds <laughs> a lot more beef but we're gonna try it see what the difference is ready one two three Serious? <laughs> Full more. Full more. Fun <laughs> <laughs> corn, peanuts, tune ups. We're almost there. We're almost there. Ladies and gentlemen, 58cc with a 230 pound dude, 81cc with a 140 pound dude, the 58cc ruckus took it. So we're to the point now. The fuel injection system isn't like perfect yet, but it's good enough to like, well, he's here, Adam. He's only here for like two more hours or something. We gotta put this uh, Dr. Pulley clutch in there. We're gonna dial this in and uh, see, what, see if we can get a little more juice out of it. Let's do it. So I haven't really recorded much of this, but I've been tinkering my head off with this ruckus. Um, and Adam, you met Adam, he rode the ruckus. Uh, this is his ruckus, by the way. He wants this ruckus to, to be the best it possibly can. So I spent tons of time on the CVT, tons of time on the EFI, just trying different things to try to get the best bang out of it. In the process, we found that the, uh, the engine has a freaking motor leak right on the cases, right down the middle. So I have to pull the whole motor apart. And the top speed is roughly around 50 miles an hour. I've gotten like 51 and you know 48 and just like it, it kind of goes around 50 miles an hour. It's got tons of low end torque so I, I'm almost a hundred percent sure there should have been metro gears put in, in into that uh, engine and I don't think they're in there but to make a long story short I've got gearing that goes even higher than the metro so we're gonna put those in. We got man in the box titanium valves I'll do that. There's just a, and I'm gonna port the head too there's just like a lot of like little things that I'm gonna do so I need to get this motor out. Let's do it. It's out. Can get the EFI off because this bolt is like it's just a ah oh gosh. There's so many random things on here that I need to fix. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is like the ruckus motor. Unlike all the others, you can unbolt the motor from the CVT. So I'm gonna do that. Get this wheel off. So all I'm dealing with is the motor right now. So let's do it.
Dudes, look at this. It's a tiny little motor. Here's the stock piston. Stock piston. And the 58cc. It's funny that that little bit makes such a big difference. Now I just need to uh, get these bolts off the back. We're good. Got everything apart. Just, uh, I'm gonna take this tray of bologna over to the sonic cleaner, ultrasonic clean it. Just get this stuff like super prepped, all um, just degreased. And once I degrease it, then I'll uh, kind of scrape like, uh, like I've got some silicone and stuff that I need to get off of here. This little baby 58cc is so cute. It works at a big, broad picture. Then the first one. I was waiting for all those pieces. I just put this 76 cc big bore kit in this uh, little Yamaha Vino. Got the gearing in there, the 76 cc. But uh, back to uh, back to these. These are all cleaned up, looking super slick, like brand new. Check it. Everything's like brand new. Head is all cleaned up. Everything's good to go. We got the JC cam and titanium valves from Man in the Box. But what I want to do, let's measure these valves versus these and see what the weight is and then same with the other stock cam. Let's see what happens. So here, let's, let's weigh these uh, stock valves. 27 grams. Okay, man in the box valve, titanium. 16, so we saved 11 grams. One other thing we didn't talk about, so here's like a stock flywheel for a, just a get motor that we're working on here. And here is a lightened flywheel. This was, a, this was lightened, not by me, but it was lightened. I'll, hopefully I'll have these on the website, maybe check the link below. Um, so here's the difference. What I want to see is like, what's the weight difference? So we're going to add up all the weight um, changes on this. As you know, or maybe you don't, whenever you have like heavy stuff, you have more rotating mass, more weight. Um, like a two-stroke revs up really high. So what we're trying to do is we want to lighten the whole drivetrain. So lighten the valves, lighten the cam, lighten the uh, flywheel. If you lighten all of that, then you know we've got lighter rotating mass, which results in a more snappy throttle and even better performance. So um, let's add all this up and see what see where we're at. So you got um, stock flywheel. Make sure there's nothing in there. I always got to check for bolts and stuff magnetized in there. So um, say, okay, uh, 982. Okay, here's the new one that's been lightened. Minus. 820. 162 gram weight difference. Pretty significant. So here is the stock cam. And it's 163 grams. And here is our JC cam. Keep in mind the lobes from the stock cam are bigger. So it probably is going to weigh a little bit more. Let's see. 174. 174, I think it was 163. Yeah. We actually increased 11 grams. So in short, the new cam weighs about 11 grams more than the stock cam because it's been built up to have a more lobby cam, more metal basically. And then we've upgraded to titanium valves and uh, that pretty much, you know, they're 11 grams lighter. So it's a wash but at least it's not weighing more. So my suggestion to you, if you're doing a cam, do titanium valves with it. That way you don't have a heavier drivetrain. And obviously, you know, the uh, light and flywheel, that's pretty much a must. That's, that's a good idea. Another thing I wanted to mention is this head has been ported. You see how that hole is much bigger than if you're looking at your stock one. It's a lot smoother. And if you look 
down here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not. But it's it's nice and smooth. So and all of this has been ported. That adds performance for sure. Yeah.